Hello, Mark. How are you today? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Couldn't be better. How does it feel to play on this Soul Out Festival and especially for Czech audience? Yes, the Czech audience is incredible. Um, we, we played, we were fortunate enough to have played this festival before. And so coming back, you know, and we, we remember we had such an amazing time last time that we just couldn't wait to come back. And I remember when we saw the itinerary and we saw it, it was like, yes, yeah. yes. And I pictured it in my head. I remember the, 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 the layout of the ground, how the stage is and how to look, you know, how the field goes up on the right. I just remember and it was beautiful. And today surpassed our expectations. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Do you get nervous before the gig? Um, I wouldn't call it nervous because uh, I think just for the fact that it's something I've wanted to do since I was yeah. my first memories or I want I want to yeah. do this. I want to do this. You know, being a kid, seeing shows, I was lucky enough that my parents let yeah. me go to shows very young. And it was just my first concert ever was 1979 Kiss, Kiss. in San Francisco. Wow. And I remember within 10 minutes they were on. I said, that's what I want to be when I grow up. That's what I want to be. And I've always focused on that. So I wouldn't say I get nervous, but I get anxious. Yeah. Very I mean, anxious. I mean, very, very yeah. anxious. But it's an anxious to do what I love to do. Yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, me as a guitar player, I like to warm up my hands before the show. Do you have something, exercises for your voice or something like that? For sure. For sure. I do. Uh, you know, I, I definitely warm up before gigs. I know a lot of people don't. And don't have to. Some people I know, I, you know, I'm friends with a lot of singers. Some of them like smoking cigarettes, drinking. They go on stage and they kill it. Yeah. Like me, I get I have my tea and my yeah. like just tea and honey, different types of honey and different types of tea before I go on. Plus my warm ups, I do quite a bit of warm ups. Some of them are standard warm ups. Some are very very unorthodox. And then I also have um, just songs that I sing or bits of songs that I sing that are just rituals. What can we expect from the Tenjo in the future? I mean, more live shows and just more energetic, pure, you know, passion for what we do. Um, right now, we're writing the the, the follow-up to our last record, Humanicide. Yeah. So we're in the the writing stages for that, and as um, soon as that you know comes out, it's just going to be more touring. And now yeah. that the world's open, you know, we had as, as everyone did, you know, a couple yeah, yeah. two and a half years off. So. Um, and there was a point where you, you, you didn't know if it was going to ever come back, you know, and that just, you, you know, it gave so much fuel to the fire for creating and writing what, you know, what is to come. And I mean, it's it's perfect fodder to, 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 to write and inspire you to come up with something, you know, fresh, angry, <laughs> and, you know, passionate. So it's, you know, new music and then, of course, with the, the beauty of the world opening again and us getting to do, this is our first festival, by the way. Well, our first festival since the world shut down, yeah. Okay. We just got here, we arrived in Europe three days ago, played our first show yesterday, and this is, but this is our first festival in, I, I can't even remember, I, you know, because yeah. our last tour was in Europe, sure, but they were indoor venues because it was during the, the winter, so it would have to be, you know, our first festival in three years, I'm guessing. So it was magical, it was magical, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. Yep. How does your normal day when you are not on tour look like? My normal day when I'm not on tour, like if I'm at home or a day yeah. off on tour. Yeah. If I'm at home, yeah. you know, now because of the um, the pandemic, I wake up much earlier than I used to. Yeah, yeah much <laughs> earlier. I probably, you know, I used to sleep till like one in the you know wow, p.m. Like not anymore. Now I wake up probably. Rock star. Not, not anymore. <laughs> now I'm no longer a rock star. Now I wake up at eight in the morning. Sometimes even six thirty. I wake up. And what I do before I even check my text messages or my emails, I wake up and I walk. Uh, I guess here would be about six and a half kilometers yeah. every morning. Wow. Every morning, yeah. I, that's what I do. Just to, and I, you know, and I, I listen to music just to clear my head. Yeah. It gets me ready for the day, and I just walk. And then when I after my walk, then I have my morning tea and my breakfast. And then I check my emails, then I check my texts. You know, yeah. I clear my head first. After that, then, you know, then it's then it's on. I exercise and, you know, just kind of take it easy unless friends want to go out and the friends want to go out, I do too. <laughs> that's a very good approach, yeah. Very you nice. know, and that's, yeah. that's kind of it. What's the last song or band you listen to? The last, what's it? Band or a song. The last song? So yeah. right before we went on stage, um, what would be? 
wow, because I always have music playing. Wow. Even when I do my warm-ups, wow. I have music yeah, playing. Really so uh, the last song that played right before we went on, I'm trying to remember. I'm, I, right when I turned it off, because uh, I keep my, my iPod on shuffle. So it was, it was either, or either, rather, it was, um, it was either Van Halen Bottoms Up. Oh, wow. Or, Very good. Uh, it was, I, I get confused. It was either that or um, a song by Glucifer. And I don't Glucifer. remember which one. Yeah. yeah. But it was off Basement Apes. Right. So it was either Glucifer or Van Halen. But I don't remember because it was like, I, all of a sudden they're like, you gotta go. It's like, oh, yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah, Very yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Do you listen to new bands or do you listen for yeah, fighting? Of course, yeah, of course. Very supportive of all music. Yeah, yeah, I mean, my, my taste in music is very varied. What do you think? So, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's you know, the, the variety of music I listen to is all over the place, yeah, from jazz to, to R&B, 70s soul. Um, but uh, newer bands, for sure, yeah. for sure, especially when it comes to metal, um, you know, from, from all over, at, anywhere from Europe. And, and, of course, I really, really support the San Francisco, yeah. the local San Francisco scene. I'd say, you know, probably my favorite band from there Right now, it's a young band that everyone should look out for. It's a band called Hellfire. Okay. Amazing band. And I'm not saying that because they're my friends. They're an amazing band. We brought them on tour. Just great. It's like thrash. It's right on that edge of thrash, but with that really, really new wave of British heavy metal, dual guitar attack, wow. Wow. amazing vocals. Yeah. It's just, it, and the, the songs are structured well. Great band, great band. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. After all these years and all the albums, it must be difficult to pick up songs to the live playlist. How do you uh, choose the songs you're going to play? Oh, when we do when oh, well, our set list. Yeah, Holy yeah, on set list. shit! I don't deal with that. <laughs> no? I don't. No, I literally don't. don't. I can't. It's too confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's hard for me because the more albums you release, yeah. the harder it is to create yeah. a set list. And um, how it worked was uh, I let Rob. Rob Cavastani, our lead guitarist, yeah. I let him, yeah. you know, deal with all of that. So yeah, okay. he That's does. Way, yeah. He does. But then I come in and I look. Face. Right at the last minute, I'll come in and look. Most of the time, me and Rob see eye to eye. And yeah. if anything, I'll just say, let's not do this song. Yeah. Well, it's, but it's usually just one song. That's how much me and Rob see eye to eye. Yeah. And it's, so that's it. Because, I mean, with the original lineup, when it was the original yeah. five, yeah. Some of the biggest fucking fights, excuse my language, but some of the biggest fights we ever had was because of set list. And I was wow. like, ever since then, yeah. nope, nope. Yeah, I'll let no. Rob do it. Yeah. And he has a good you know, finger on the pulse for the crowd. Yeah. And he knows, because we don't do the same set list every night. Yeah. It's not like, this is the set list we do for the tour. It depends who we're playing with, what type of audience, and then he'll form it around that. And, and usually, as I said, we're 100% eye to eye on it. Yeah, but we definitely work off what crowd or what bands we're playing with to 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 yeah. you know to, for him to structure that set list. Yeah. Last question. Uh -oh. the, uh, on this festival, the main headliner, Judas Priest. When you hear Judas Priest, what comes to your mind and what what their music means to you? Uh, Judas Priest is my favorite heavy metal band of all time. When you say heavy metal, they they're the inventors of heavy metal like you know um they're my favorite heavy metal band of all time i i, I love love judas priest I, i love them um all eras of priest just just a wonderful band that has inspired me especially you know rob how if, if if one seen death angel you could see the two people i rip off more than anyone here are ronnie james dio and rob <laughs> and halford i mean and why why wouldn't you if you don't you're doing it wrong and yeah. i say that you know he's the biggest inspiration to me and you know just sonically beautiful he just gets everything and um how would i say this the, just over the years how he's just maintained that voice yeah. is incredible and i know people you know But it's far younger than me even that have blown their voices out you know what i mean and the very and to see someone like rob get up there and do what he does night after night and album after album it's just it's absolutely incredible so he's yeah he's he's my biggest inspiration um their 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 dual guitar attack attack is just incredible you know and it has been forever their songs wonderful it's it's timeless And it's timeless for a reason because they're the, they're the greatest. They're, the, they're Judas Priest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And so when exactly. I see that we're playing a festival with them, I'm like, yes! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, very yeah. excited. 
Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to talk right. with you. For sure, for sure. It, we, yeah, yeah. Take, take, take care. Thank you very much. That's what I do. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, we're going to see you at Masters of Rock again. We will. You guys were incredible. Always are. Always has been. Or have been, rather. And we look forward to being a part of it again. Cheers.